We've got some great crafts for you this March for celebrating spring. We've got a flower embroidery per project for our family craft and then flower bombs for our adult and teen craft. And everything is going to be included in your packet. You are going to have some soil, some clay, and some seeds. All you might need and probably would want is a bowl and a little bit of water. And we're going to use that water pretty sparingly. So whatever container you want to use to mix this in, just pour the materials in. So empty your little baggies of the soil, the clay, and the seeds. I'll warn you, the clay is red, so it's going to be pretty red. So if you don't want to get your hands dirty, you might want some gloves or something on. Um, but it washes off. It's not going to stain too bad. So mix up the um, ingredients there and uh, make sure everything's pretty well mixed. Then slowly, you're going to find out Miss Brenda did not go very slow, slowly add a little bit of water at a time and mix it up real good because you don't want this to be too soupy. I made it too soupy. So now you get to see what too soupy looks like. So this is a little too soupy. You're going to want it to be kind of sticky but not really, really soupy. Um, it's gonna work if it does end up being soupy, so if don't worry. If it is a little too soupy, just add some soil if you've got some or some kind of dirt just to dry it up a little bit. And you're basically just gonna make little balls. There's my little ball, looks like a meatball. Don't think it's a cookie. We've all been joking that they kind of look like cookies here. So there should be enough here to make four small balls. You can kind of divide that, um, slight mess into four parts, four little balls, roll them up, and then you'll have to have somewhere to let them dry. It takes about a day or two to dry, depending on if you're doing it inside or outside. So you might also want a plate or a paper towel or something for them to sit on, or you can leave them there in your bowl. So here's our completed balls, and you're gonna want to let those dry out, and here, I'm going to get our finished product. We let some of ours dry out. So once you have them all nice and dry, find a place like a field or a ditch or somewhere or even just your garden bed. Toss these in and they should break down for having some really pretty flowers for the spring. So enjoy. Enjoy.